This is Zero Zero J Love coming back. I want to talk to you all about Dr. Heavenly interview with Melody Holt. This has been on my mind for a minute. And I listened to her. The specific thing that I want to talk about is when Dr. Heavenly asked Melody, did she have an abortion? I was like, boy, that Dr. Heavenly doesn't hold back. She gets it in and she goes in. Let me let me get my knee pads. I forgot. I'm going to prune these. Uh, these are my blackberries. You know, I'm always having to do something. And since you look, my hair is probably looking crazy. Last night I washed my hair, and after when I whenever I wash my hair and shampoo and and I condition it, then what I do and rinse all that out really good is I put oil, no particular kind of oil. I put oil in my hair, and then I do a light rinse on, with the oil to run through my hair, just a light rinse to re retain a lot, just make sure it goes everywhere. And then I comb out my section, my hair, comb it out, and I just twist it up like a bantu knot. Twist it up, and then I sleep on it, and then in the morning, it's usually dry. It just helps me, so when I blow dry my hair, I do blow dry my hair because my hair gets really, really tangled. And so it's not fully dried, and I got stuff to do when I don't have time, and I'm, I'm totally not embarrassed by my hair looking like it is. But I was at the store and everything, boy. I had got these pads i used to use these pads in uh in yoga class and so i got it so i can kneel on here and save my knees but anyway i wanted to talk about melody dr heavenly said that you have an abortion and i just knew i didn't think martell was telling the truth honestly i thought he was lying so when when she said i looked at melody melody looked down she, she said she thinks she talked about it during her confessional. I didn't know she was going to speak on it. I mean, like, that's real private. When, when something like that happens, I believe everybody's entitled to, you know, an accident or incident or something. I myself have never, thank God, had an abortion. But when you're, when you're, when something like that happens in your life and you're married, and you and your husband decide to do that you know that's probably just really really shaky ground and then on top of that if he turns around and have a baby with somebody else just imagine i don't know i don't know what that does and and i know she kept saying april 4th is when i decided to leave april 4th april 4th now i don't know how old or when martel had that other that that fifth baby that outside of the relationship baby I don't know how old or, you know, if that lady was pregnant and Melody found out or I don't know. I wonder what's the circumstances with that because that baby that Martell had could have probably been in between. And I believe I'm believing her if her youngest baby name is Milani or something like that. And if she had that baby in December and maybe had ended up getting pregnant again in April or accidentally or however that goes. Uh, she, I wonder what was going on with her. Like there was something had to really go on because you know she didn't, she didn't realize, or I don't think it was a planned pregnancy with the fourth baby. And so, you know, nevertheless, my thing is that's a hard, that's a hard situation when you're married and you possibly just had a fourth baby and you know things aren't right with your husband and you're find yourself pregnant again oh my god that's kind of you know that's really hard i i am in the belief of i can't say that that's a bad thing or not because that's your life you have to do what's gonna fulfill you you just you know for me it's like you know just don't let it happen again or be prepared or do what you need to do to be successful so that you can protect yourself I think that's most important, protecting yourself so that nothing happens. But I would like to know what some of you, you all's thoughts are in a situation like that. Like, you know, even if you know you're going to leave the marriage, would you still have an abortion? Or is that something that, you know, you think that you would absolutely not do? Because you don't, you don't really know what you'll do until you find yourself in that situation. You can say what you, what you, what have, could have, should have, 
all day long, but until you find yourself in that situation, you never know what you do. Dice, I guess I need something sharper. I didn't know it was so many things that died. Some of these branches are really thick. But I, I just, I'd like to know some people's opinion on that. That was, uh, I can't say it broke my heart or anything, but I was shocked because I just, I, I, fig I figured Martel was lying when he said, and she had a baby, and I don't know if it was my baby and all that stuff. Now, I figured he was lying when he said that, but for him to, why would he even put that out there? And then when Melody said, he's supposed to protect me, she told the complete truth. He, a man, is supposed to protect you. So what are you out there doing, Martel? As soon as Melody said a man is supposed to protect, I was like, man, she she got that. I'm on my crepe myrtles now. I gotta get this together. I was like, man, she's speaking nothing but the truth. When when a woman for me, when I feel like you as my man can't protect, you know, or honor me, or take care of me, then what do you care for? support system that's that's a that's a male that you know that's my teammate that's riding with me i don't want to be the only one in the family that's trying to keep everything together and abide by the rules you know he seems martel seems like he's very uh i'm gonna get you back or he's like you know he know things that's gonna be offensive to male because they've been married for a long time and you know your mate normally nine times out of ten and you know what's gonna hurt them what's going to make them feel some sort of way. So it's like he's just out here on a on a mission to bad mouth her, make her feel bad, make her feel worse than whatever she could be. And she could, like she said, she could go into a depression. And it's just crazy. And then the other thing that I was going to say, um, is men to me, Men like that, when you have a strong woman holding you down, and then you break up or you release the men seem to go off the rails. Keep it cute, keep it cute, keep it cute. him when he said she couldn't give she didn't give me what I needed and I needed this and I needed that mm -mm. I just I just don't know I just I think that's you know totally irresponsible and selfish of him to drag her because that's what it is to me you dragging her you want her to look bad in the public just just be gone just go on do what you're doing what you want to do this is what you want to do she's released you let it be let it go but i do want you all to hear that clip if you haven't watched it and i want i want some feedback i would like to have a conversation on it because it's very intriguing you know and i know that it was hard for her and and everything and i probably she probably didn't want to have another reason for him to hang around because after she had baby girl they was kind of, they was back together trying to work on things, and I can't fault anybody. You want to repair your marriage, you want to be in there, you stick, you know, why is she still there? She know people. Even though you're single, it's not okay. 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 Even though you're single, it's
I, I want to know just what do you think if you were in that position would you have an abortion would you keep the baby um I love babies I love children I was a foster parent for a minute and I'm gonna be a foster parent again I'm glad I didn't have to turn about the pandemic because um, you have to visit the children have to visit children and I would like to think that I wouldn't but you just never know you never know you can never say never 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 you just never know until it's knocking at your back door what would you do all right I'm gonna finish my crepe myrtle uh, cutting don't say that to me don't say that to me okay well okay you don't need to go answer it, but you can ask what you want to ask okay? okay so did you have an abortion why was he saying you had abortion? That's why he felt like you were cheating because you got four kids, right? I do. Mm -hmm. And I talk about this, I talk about this a little bit. I think um, I think I talked about it in one of my confessionals and I don't know if it's already aired or not. I can't remember. Um, but one abortion that we both decided upon and um, yeah, that there was nothing, no, ooh, it was because of something else. I can't believe he even put that narrative out there to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, and you know, that's the first time in my life that I've been in a position where I felt like I had, um, that I needed to make that decision. You know, like you said, I have four beautiful children and I never in my life been in a place where I was even confused on, should I keep this child or should I not? Even though I've always, you know, especially being raised in the church, I still always believed in women's rights and women being able to choose to do whatever they want to do. Like that's nobody's business. So the fact that it would be exposed by someone who's supposed to protect and then not only exposed by him, but then also kind of tried to be twisted to be something that it wasn't. I felt like that was, that was very shameful for him. To so do. Why did you decide to have an abortion? I mean, you got four kids, you're beautiful, you're young. What's wrong with five? I'm five, but I'm going to tell you this. I definitely don't want to have any more. Um, but I would say, I knew when I found out I was pregnant, I knew that I wasn't going to be staying with Martell. I left April the 4th and I had the abortion April 3rd. Got it. Got it. So you knew you were leaving. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, you knew you were leaving. Got it. Got it. Got it. Well, I, me, you, making that choice, me making that choice to do that, I knew I was done because for me, that was huge. I, I Tune in for more conversations with me, 00J Love. I do want to talk about when your child is heterosexual and they may have homosexual friends, how do how do you as a parent handle that? Very serious conversation to me. But anyway, tell me what you think about Melody Holt and Dr. Heavenly conversation. Bye. See you later. This is 00J Love. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.